All right, so I just received this rusted, busted Rolex Datejust, and I'm gonna fully restore it. I'll be honest with you guys, this thing looks absolutely terrible. It is not going to be easy. So right off the bat, I took a look at this style. Looks absolutely insane, but it's telling me that there is a hell of a lot of work behind this case back. So within about two seconds, I realized why this watch actually took in some liquid, and that's because the tube on the case is actually stripped. Crown couldn't tighten down, and it was no longer waterproof. Make sure your crown is tight, 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 before entering any type of water. So the story behind this watch is one of my Instagram followers actually sent me a DM. He had this bit of a project. This was his grandfather's daily worn watch. I mean, this man, as you could see from the video, he wore it every single day doing absolutely anything with it. It's what a Rolex is. It's a tool watch. Unfortunately, somewhere in its life, it took in some water. I don't know if this came from a lake, a pond, an ocean. Luckily, it wasn't that bad. A lot of these parts were salvageable, but ultimately a lot of things had to be replaced. Now that the case backs off, I get my first look. And when I say there is rust everywhere, I mean it is everywhere. It's in every crevice, screw, whatever. So it's very important that I take this watch thoroughly apart. Piece by piece, everything needs to be cleaned individually so I can see what's salvageable and what I need to replace. So honestly, dismantling this thing is the easy part. However, my favorite part of doing these videos is the cleanup. This is not easy, but it's definitely satisfying to watch. So the guy who actually sent this in, he saw the last video with the burnt watch restoration. 
And I pretty much offered him the same thing. I said, let's reuse the same dial, has a little bit more sentimental value. I think it adds a bit of character. And guys, I'm bringing the most unique dials into the world. So I did a ton of cleaning off camera, got it to the point where I'm now satisfied and I could throw this thing back together. Guys, I know you freaked out last time. Yes, I am using the proper lubrication all over this movement. I didn't go through this much trouble not to use oil. So finally, after days upon days of cleaning, sourcing parts, and now this thing is finally back together, let's take a look at the overall transformation. Guys, once again, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have a crazy story, a crazy watch that's in some dire need of repair, feel free to shoot me a DM. Maybe you can make it on the channel.